and welcome back to the most amazing top 10 channel on the internet. I am your spook duke or duchess Rebecca Jane Felgate, which is appropriate because today we are talking about the top 10 scary secrets from the royal family. Wow. Thank you to our subscriber Crash for this one. If you guys have any video suggestions for us in the future then please do let us know what you would like to see. I'm all eyes, I'm all ears. Also before we get into this video as we're talking about the royal family, why don't you let me know your favourite historical queen or king, princess or prince. I'm gonna go with Princess Margaret the Queen's sister and also Queen Cleopatra of Egypt. To just very sassy ladies by the sounds of it. If you like our video content, thank you in advance for leaving a thumbs up. It makes me warm and happy and, you know, just joyous. Share this video with a friend and stay subscribed for more videos. Check out the links in our description box for our most amazing Instagrams. All right, marching on in at number 10, we have the royal Nazis. The British royal family has some uncomfortable connections with the Nazi party. Prince Philip, the Queen's husband, was a Danish prince and his sisters were married to Nazis. When his sister Cecile died, her funeral contained full Nazi regalia. Prince Philip was young at the time, but his ties were enough to mean that a lot of his German relatives were not invited to his wedding when he got married to the Queen. This was as a result of the political climate in post-war Europe. Philip was never himself associated with the Nazi party, but it seems that the Queen's uncle, the infamous abdicated King Edward VIII, may have been a Nazi sympathiser. According to some very credible rumours, he was in cahoots with the Reich and and planned to help them overthrow King George V in return for restoration of his power. The Queen was young when the Nazis were in power and her uncle taught her the Nazi salute, which unfortunately she was pictured performing, but likely was very ignorant of its meaning, like the rest of Great Britain at the time before Hitler's tyranny was truly known. Then of course there was the awkward costume party where Prince Harry dressed as a Nazi in 2005. The Sun printed an image of the royal prince wearing a swastika and all hell broke broke loose in the media landscape. Coming into number 9 we have the Queen's murdered uncle. A firm question mark here, but was the Queen's uncle murdered? His death was certainly suspicious. It seems that the younger brother to the abdicated King Edward VIII and then the subsequent King George V, he was the Duke of Kent, he was bisexual and flamboyant which was an issue for both of his brothers, especially the crown in the 1940s. Also an issue was that he was was accused of also being a Nazi sympathiser. The rumour was that in order to save the throne the embarrassment of having him around, Prince George the Duke of Kent was sent on a special mission. It seems that the plane carrying the Duke and 14 other passengers went down. All but one survived and there were many whisperings of the accident being all too convenient. It seems that the Duke was also a Freemason, so if it wasn't an accident, was it the Crown or was it the Freemasons? The sole survivor was forced to sign the official secret act, however it is claimed that he told his family there was someone on board the aircraft that simply wasn't supposed to be there. Coming into number 8 we have the Queen is above the law. Luckily our Queen is a sweet 93 year old lady who seems to be pretty concerned with upholding the law rather than breaking it. But she could. Like most countries, the United Kingdom has a freedom of information system that basically allows the press and public to reasonably ask questions about various situations. Many say that this is vital in a democratic society. But the royal family have used their powers to block the Freedom of Information Act from applying to them. To put it simply, the Queen's private affairs can stay very, very private. She honestly really doesn't have to answer to anyone. Coming into number 7 we have Meghan's secret Instagram. I get it, if I suddenly married into royalty I may also struggle to give up social media. I love Instagram, I love taking pictures and sharing them with the world, but when you're a member of the royal family. You're expected to be prim and proper, you're expected to be an ideal public figure. It seems that the former actress Meghan wanted to hold on to her more informal life and had a secret Instagram account for sharing snaps with family and friends. The Duchess of Sussex was forced to shut down her public profile when she married Harry, but she had a secret Instagram to follow her family and friends. However, the account led her to discover unwanted information about the way the public perceived her. Reading rumours that she'd been dubbed Duchess Difficult and had made sister-in-law Kate Middleton cry was hard for her to read and especially hard on her mental health, so she gave up Instagram. Honestly, I get it, Instagram can be a bit of a mind melt, but I still love it. Does that make me wrong? 
Maybe. Coming into number six, we have Diana's ghost. Honestly, I really don't know about this one. Of course, claiming that Princess Diana's ghost is out and about will garner headlines. I will say take this one with a pinch of salt though, like a very very big pinch of salt. In August 2018, a man claiming to be a psychic contacted the so called lonely ghost of Princess Diana and published a book of their alleged interview. There's that salt, I am pinching it. Ruho Akawa is a self confessed religious leader from Japan. In the book, titled Spiritual Interview with the Princess, he claimed that Diana called Prince Charles first in line to the throne the devil. She also is said to have called the queen the last light of England and said that the country will undergo a revolution. Get this, she also allegedly proclaimed a love of Islam. Sure, honestly, I think that we all know what to do with that salt we're pinching. Just take it elsewhere because there is legitimately no truth to this. Although I will say that this isn't the first time that Diana's ghost has been discussed. Weirdly, pop artist and X Factor finalist Chico claims that she visited and gave him lip implants one day, which I'm sorry, what is everyone smoking? And like, can I maybe have some? Okay, so speaking of ghosts, let's go with some more credible sources for this one. Coming into number five, we have King Henry VIII. Windsor Castle is one of the oldest of the Queen's homes and has been in the British royal family for generations. It was built by William the Conqueror in 1070 AD and it's reported to be haunted by the spirits of former monarchies of England. Mad King George III, for example, is said to peer forlornly through a window. Charles the first is said to haunt the grounds and Queen Elizabeth the first, the virgin queen as she was known, is thought to haunt the royal library. The most famous ghost of the 25 is thought to be none other than King Henry the 8th. Mr. Chode himself. He's said to drag his gouty leg and groan as he moves around the cloisters. I know that he's dead, but his reputation for taking ladies' heads precedes him. And I will say, on top of that, he's not the only scary ghost. There are loads of them. Once again, loads. It's not just kings and queens either. It seems that former prisoners and members of royal staff stalk the hallowed halls of Windsor Castle. Another castle coming in at number four, we have The Queen Hates Buckingham Palace. So speaking of ghosts, did you know that Buckingham Palace, the official resident of the crown, is said to be haunted? It seems that an angry monk has made his presence known, although that isn't the reason that the Queen dislikes Buckingham Palace. It seems that nobody in the royal family is a fan of the palace, which has been in the monarchy's official residence since 1837. It seems that the building is drafty, frequented by mice, the roof leaks, and a lot of asbestos had to be removed in recent years. It's rumoured that Prince Charles is not a fan and doesn't want to live there when he's king. Is the royal family cursed? Find out at number three, we have the royal curse. So this actually comes from the Queen Mother rather than the throne line of the Windsors. The Queen Mother was a descendant of the Bose Lion family. Her pre-marriage name was Elizabeth Angela Marguerite Bose Lion. What a mouthful. While she lived to the ripe old age of 101, her family are said to suffer a lifelong curse. The curse is said to stem back 600 years to the 15th century where Alexander Lyon, the second Lord of Glamis, was said to have sold sold his soul to the devil. Rookie mistake. The home he owned at the time, Glamis Castle, is still in the Bowes Lions family. The Queen's grandfather once said if the secrets of the castle were known to the public, people would get down on their hands and knees and thank God it didn't belong to them. Perhaps the curse has carried. The Queen Mother lost her husband, King George, who died at the age of 51. Now, the current Queen is the only monarch to have seen all of her children divorce. Then, Windsor Castle burned in 1992, Princess Diana famously died in 1997, and the Queen lost her sister in 2002. Is this as a result of the curse? Coming into number two, we have Kamloops. What happened at Kamloops? We still don't know. In 1964, Queen Elizabeth and her husband Prince Philip were on a tour of Commonwealth Canada when they visited the controversial Kamloops Residential School in British Columbia. After their visit, 50 children went missing. Now, school pupil William Cobes, a native North American child who went to Kamloops, 
actually said that the Queen made his fellow classmates kiss her shoes and then her and her husband abducted them, which I don't believe, but that's what he said. Some websites even claim that she was found to have been involved by an independent investigation team looking into the case. Beyond the missing children, thousands of kids were reported to have been emotionally, physically and sexually abused by the churches that ran the schools. And in the year 2007, the Canadian government settled a $1.9 billion lawsuit on the topic. Weird. Finally, coming in to number one, we have Prince Andrew and Jeffrey Epstein. The Queen's youngest son, Prince Andrew, was known to be friends with billionaire pervert and paedophile Jeffrey Epstein, having visited his private island. He even invited Jeffrey to his daughter, Princess Beatrice's 18th birthday, which took place days before his arrest for sex trafficking in 2006. Epstein, for those that don't know, was an American financer and part of an elite social circle that was accused of procuring women and underage girls for sex. For his first offence, which he was convicted for, he pleaded guilty but only served 13 months in jail. He was arrested again in July 2019 and the man killed himself in his cell in August. Prince Andrew doesn't pick his friends well at all. On top of Epstein, he has also accepted and holidayed at convicted gun smuggler Tarek Katuni's home. So guys, that was the top 10 scary royal family secrets. What did you think to this list? Do you think there's any credibility to them or do you think it's all hearsay? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Before I go, I'm going to read some comments from the top 10 scary animals that got possessed. Ah, Natalie Keenan said, that goat noise absolutely made me crease, you crack me up. I can't remember what I did now, but it was probably like, meh, meh, goats. Gotta love them. Our channel member Kieran20293 said, Yep, that cat cracks me up. I've seen that video loads of times and it makes me laugh my nuts off. My favourite one on the list is this cat. A lot of you had very nice things to say about my hair and outfit in that video, so. Thank you, you make me feel good. Hurrah, isn't it all about feeling good? I think so. If you wanna make me feel even better though, please do like this video and share it with a friend. I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate. Check out the links in the description box for our sources and our most amazing Instagrams. Stick around, we've got a whole playlist, but I will see you guys soon. Bye.